cop has been shot dead in Jammu and Kashmir's Baramulla. This is the third targeted attack in three days in Kashmir. Politics over Enforcement Directorate summons to Chief Minister Kejriwal. Atishi says BJP wants to finish Ahmadmi Party. BJP hits back saying Kejriwal is the mastermind kingpin of liquor scam. Andhra ex-Chief Minister Naidu out on bail. Naidu's big show of political strength. BJP, BRS, CPI Congress leaders supported me, claims Naidu. Minister of State for Information and Technology Rajiv Chandrasekhar speaks exclusively to NDTV on the Apple hack alert messages, says onus on Apple to assure the world that its devices are secure. UP cop punched, thrashed by mob. The arrested accused opens fire on cops. Hello, I'm Sneha Koshi. Another instance of targeted killing is being reported out of Kashmir. A cop was shot dead by terrorists in Baramulla district. This is the third targeted attack in last three days in the valley. On Sunday, a police inspector, Masroor Ahmad Vani, was shot at and injured in Srinagar. I'm being joined by my colleague Nazir Masoodi at this point. A worrying wave of fresh, uh, you know, target attacks in the valley, third target attack, uh, attack in last three days. And this evening, Gulam Mohammed uh, Dar, a head constable in Jammu and Kashmir police, who was off duty that time, he was at his home like any other civilian or any other employee. When the gunman barged into his house, resorted to firing and killed him, and police say it was terror attack as the sir behind this one militant group has claimed responsibility as well, which indicates that the, for how these attacks were carried out. On Sunday, there was an attack on a police inspector. He was shot from point blank in Srinagar, uh, Idga area, Inspector Masroor Ahmedwani. Yesterday, uh, in, in South Kashmir, is Pulwama, a migrant laborer was killed. And today, in North Kashmir, Baramulla district, so whether it is South Kashmir, Central Kashmir, Srinagar, or North Kashmir, militants have tried to send a message there everywhere so they can carry out attacks like this. At a time when we see change of God in Jammu and Kashmir police, new direction general of police, uh, Mr. Um, Rashmi Rajan Swan has taken over as new direction general of police today. He is seen as a no-nonsense uh, police officer who has headed the has been heading the JNK intelligence wing of police for last more than three years. So it is a challenge for him and also challenge for the UT administration who have been repeated talking about that militancy is at its last leg. But look the human cost of these attacks. Uh, Gulam Muhammad uh, Dar, head constable, he is survived by his wife and six daughters. He was the only, you know, breadwinner for his family. And look at the tragedy that has befallen the family. So it is a worrying thing uh, and, and how this, there have been three targeted attacks in the valley in last three days. And a team of Manipur police commandos sent to a border town as reinforcements after a senior police officer was shot dead this morning and were ambushed by suspected insurgents on their way, the police has said. Many commandos were injured in the ambush that happened around 10 kilometers short of the Tengopal district. Troops of the Assam rifles rushed to the ambush site and rescued the police commandos. According to government sources, many have been taken to the hospital. Cookie civil society groups, meanwhile in statements, alleged it was a retaliatory shootout with Cookie village volunteers over alleged indiscriminate use of force by police commandos. And after the viral video of an Uttar Pradesh police official being thrashed by a mob in Mahoba near Lucknow, this after a the crowd went completely out of control. The incident took place in Mahoba, some 260 kilometers from Lucknow. After a bus 
uh, allegedly ran over a boy. The cop was thrashed brutally by the mob. Now, in what appeared to be a development in this story, the accused who had thrashed the cop had been arrested, but one of the accused, in fact, went on to open fire on the cops. One sub-inspector and two constables have been injured in the firing. A massive controversy erupted today after several opposition MPs shared alerts from Apple warning of state-sponsored attackers trying to hack their phones and directly targeted the government. Union IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav hit back and called the MPs who include Shiv Sena, the Uddhav Thakre faction MP, Priyanka Chaturvedi and Trinamool Congress MP Mahwa Moitra, compulsive critics of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He also said the government has ordered a probe and Apple must cooperate. My name was also there. A political war over these alerts from Apple shared by opposition MPs warning of state-sponsored attackers trying to hack their phones just days before crucial state polls being seen as the semi-finals for the 2024 general election. Within hours, the government hit back, saying an inquiry has been ordered and calling opposition leaders compulsive critics doing destructive politics. The last Pegasus inquiry where, I mean, my name was also there, uh, that sort of disappeared, right? So that tells you, that tells you uh, the situation in the country. Our job as opposition is to make people understand what is going on. So what is the sad thing today in our democracy, in our democracy, in our democracy, and in our privacy, in our privacy, in our democracy, ये लोग देश की उन्नति को देश की प्रगति को देख नहीं सकते पहचा नहीं सकते जिस तरह का कंपल्सिव क्रिटिक्स आरोप लगाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं वैसा कुछ भी नहीं है तो साथियों जो लोग देश की प्रगति को पहचा नहीं पा रहे जो लोग देश को ऊपर बढ़ते हुए देख नहीं सकते वो लोग डिस्ट्रैक्शन पॉलिटिक्स कर रहे हैं टुडे Apple responded to the MP's allegations, saying it does not attribute the notifications to any specific state-sponsored attacker and that some notifications may be false alarms. A second government minister, junior IT minister Rajiv Chandra Shekhar, tweeted these questions to Apple, asking it to clarify why these notifications were sent, despite Apple's claims of being secure and privacy compliant. Uh, they must explain whether their uh, platforms and devices are really secure or not. The government says it is committed to protecting the privacy of all citizens. Meer Rafe, Bureau Report, NDTV. And, uh, I'm hopeful. It's been political slugfest between the Amadvi Party and the BJP over the Enforcement Directorate summoned to Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal in the liquor policy case where he isn't named yet. However, Amadmi Party has alleged that BJP wants to finish Amadmi Party and that he will not be arrested and that he will be arrested on November 2nd. BJP has hit back, calling him the mastermind and kingpin of the liquor policy scam. Now, what do we know in this case till now? Delhi Chief Minister has been called for questioning by the Enforcement Directorate on November 2nd. Arvind K. Jival has still now not been named as an accused in this case. Delhi Chief Minister's name did come up in some of the testimonies. The Enforcement Directorate has said that the Ahmadmi Party communication in charge, Vijay Nair, got businessman Samir Mahendru to talk to Arvind K. Jival. Now, Sisodia's, that's Manish Sisodia, f- former minister's, Secretary has told the Enforcement Directorate that the Chief Minister decided to hike commission from 5% to 12%. The Enforcement Directorate has also said the first draft of liquor policy was prepared at the Chief Minister's residence and that CBI had earlier questioned Arvind Kejriwal in this case. Delhi liquor policy money laundering case has reached the doorsteps of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal as Enforcement Directorate has summoned him for questioning on Thursday. Kejriwal was questioned by CBI in the same case in April this year. 
Enforcement Directorate summons Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal in liquor policy money laundering case. Kejriwal asked to appear for questioning on Thursday. Liquor companies made undue profit of 338 crore rupees in 10 months, according to the Enforcement Directorate. Liquor companies gave 100 crore rupees to Amadmi Party as kickbacks. An Amadmi Party used 45 crore rupees in Goa Assembly elections, according to the Enforcement Directorate. According to the allegations, the Enforcement Directorate has said that they are contemplating to name Amadmi Party as accused in the money laundering case. And that Samir Mahindru of Indo Spirit spoke to Kejriwal through Vijay Nair. CBI has already recorded the statement of Kejriwal in the predicate offence in April though as a witness and not as an accused. CBI had sought details from Kejriwal on the nature of policy, including the enhanced profit margin and why the policy was given ex post facto approval by Delhi Cabinet. According to the sources, before giving post facto approval, the Cabinet headed by Kejriwal had at least twice deferred clearing the policy. Har taraf se khabar aa rahi hai ke 2 November ko jab Arvind Kejriwal ko bulayenge, तो ईडी उनको भी अरेस्ट करके जेल में डाल देगी आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी और प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी आम आदमी पार्टी को खत्म करना चाहते हैं दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री अरविंद केजरीवाल को 2 नवंबर को जब गिरफ्तार किया जाएगा वो इसलिए नहीं किया जाएगा कि उनके खिलाफ कोई केस है उनके खिलाफ कोई सबूत है उनको इसलिए गिरफ्तार किया जाएगा क्योंकि प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को अरविंद केजरीवाल से डर लगता है। BJP hit back at the Aam Aadmi Party, accusing the latter of politicizing a criminal investigation. Aam Aadmi का आरोप है कि सरकार उनको खत्म कर रही है। Aam Aadmi Party खुद को अपने आप को खत्म कर रही है। तो गलती करेंगे आप, भ्रष्टाचार करेंगे आप, अपराध करेंगे आप, और कार्रवाई होगी तो परेशानी है। ऐसा कैसे चलेगा भाई? NDTV Bureau Report and TDP Chief Chandrababu Naidu walked out of the central jail. On Tuesday evening, 53 days after he was arrested in connection with the alleged 371 crore rupee Andhra Pradesh Skill Development Corporation scam. And since then, he has also been named in two other corruption cases. He's out on conditional bail on medical grounds, but it's been nothing short of full-fledged display of political strength, welcomed and swamped by massive turnout of supporters in his big political speech. After he walked out of jail, he has thanked the opposition members, saying, Jan Sena supported me openly, BJP, BRS, CPI have supported me, so have some Congress leaders also supported me. Nalavai Samachal na Sudhir ka Raja ke Charitarlo, Nini Eta Puchayale do, Eta Puchayane no, Ever Nuguda Alo Chayano, Adi, In Tavarukun and Chesra don't in Ebadata, Andekane, Maro Kasari, राष्ट्रों लो उन्डे, प्रपंचम मत्तों उन्डे, तेलुगुवार अंदरिकी, प्रत्येकंगा जनसेन अहिते, ओपनगा उच्ची, पूर्तिगा साकरिंचार। पावन कल्यानिकारिकी मनस पूर्तिगा अभिनन्नल्लु, वार उक्करेगादु, चाला राजिके पार्टीलु। वार अंदर की पेरु पेरु ना मरोकसारी मनसपूर्ति का अभिनंदन लो। and will the Maratha quota agitation now settle down a day after violence and arson in Maharashtra's bead during Maratha quota protests? The Eknath Shinde government says it is adopting measures that will pacify the agitators who want reservation in government jobs and education under the other backward classes category. Gatherings are banned in bead and several shops are shut to ensure no fresh outbreak of violence. There's no internet in the city as well. Violence, arson and a curfew in beer later 
a climb down from the Maharashtra government over the issue of OBC quotas for Marathas. The Eknath Shinde government says it will start the process of issuing Kunbi sub-caste certificates to Marathas in the state's Marathwada region that will make them eligible for OBC quotas in government jobs and education. The government has also promised a curative petition for the restoration of the quota granted to the Marathas in 2018 before the Supreme Court quashed it. Yes, Andolan me कौन भड़काने का काम करता है कौन यह आगजनी कर रहा है कौन कानून व्यवस्था यहां पर बिगाड़ने की कोशिश कर रहा है इसके ऊपर पूरी तरह सरकार का ध्यान है यह मराठा आरक्षण देने का सरकार की जिम्मेदारी है द गवर्नमेंट्स डिसीजंस केम अ डे आफ्टर हेवी वायलेंस इन बीर द एपिसेंटर ऑफ द एजिटेशन 50 बसेस वर वैंडलाइज्ड एट अ डिपो एंड सो वर द होम्स ऑफ टू एमएलएस the district's ncp office was also set on fire abhi situation mere bilkul control mein hai abhi kal raat se matlab koi incident nahi hai aur jo extra deployment bhi prapt hua hai hame extra force bhi aaya hua wo bhi humne deploy kiya hai aur matlab precaution ke taur pe humne yahan pe internet seva bhi rukwa diya hai the police have registered 12 fires in connection with arson and vandalism arrested 55 people and identified around 300 others who were part of the violence. With Ronak Kokre and Sunil Kumar Singh, Bureau Report, NDTV. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi participated in the program marking the culmination of Meri Mati, Mera Desh campaign's Amrit Kalash Yatra at Kartavya Pat. Today, the Amrit Mahotsav एक याद के लिए स्मारक का शिलान्यास भी हुआ है ये स्मारक आने वाली पीढ़ियों को हमेशा इस ऐतिहासिक आयोजन की याद दिलाएगी बेहतरीन आयोजनों के लिए यहां कुछ राज्यों मंत्रालय और विभागों को पुरस्कार भी दिए गए हैं मैं सभी पुरस्कार विजेताओं को भी और उस राज्य के सभी नागरिकों को भी बहुत बहुत बधाई देता हूं And while Israeli defense forces continue their ground operations in Gaza to avenge Hamas's deadly terror attack, its reverberations are being felt thousands of kilometers away in the politics of assembly polls bound Madhya Pradesh. The BJP is now highlighting a video of an alleged Congress leader speaking in favor of Palestine, claiming um, the, the show support of Hamas, while the Congress defends it as highlighting how women and children are being killed in Gaza. The Israel-Hamas war reverberating thousands of kilometers away in the communally sensitive Khargon district of coal-bound Madhya Pradesh. The BJP has claimed this woman in this viral video is Dr. Shubhashi Joshi, the daughter of sitting Congress MLA Ravi Joshi, and she can be allegedly heard raising the issue of Palestine. In the video, the female speaker also appeals for a two minute silence over Palestine. पहले दिग्विजय सिंह उसके बाद कमलनाथ और अब रवि जोशी ये कांग्रेस का आंतरिक चरित्र है कांग्रेस का हाथ जिहादियों के साथ भारत के आधिकारिक स्टैंड के विपरीत ये हमास को सपोर्ट करते हैं ये उस इको सिस्टम का हिस्सा है जिससे ये आतंकवाद पनपता है राहुल गांधी प्रियंका गांधी मध्य प्रदेश आए तो जवाब दें अपने विधायक की करतूत पर आज इनको अगर मासूम बच्चों के शोक के लिए अगर कोई दो मिनट का मौन रखता है तो उसको ये गलत कहते हैं ये बताएं मरते हुए हजारों बच्चे किसी भी देश के हों अगर उनके लिए दो मिनट का मौन कोई रखता है तो क्या वो कोई अन्याय है कोई गलत चीज है जवाब देना चाहिए प्रधानमंत्री जी को मुख्यमंत्री जी जो यहाँ पे वर्तमान में थे अब जाने वाले हैं कि मासूम बच्चे अगर मर रहे हैं 
निहत्ते लोग मर रहे हैं उसके लिए कोई अगर मौन रखना पाप है कोई पाप नहीं है इनका प्रोपोगंडा है इनका प्रोपोगंडा नहीं चलेगा Hergon had witnessed major communal violence on Ram Navmi last year. One person was killed and three dozen others including cops were hurt. In violence after an attack on a Ram Navmi procession in Khargon town in April 2022. In this second viral video, Congress MLA and candidate from Khargon seat Ravi Joshi is seen promising a fresh probe into the violence if the party is voted to power. Khargon dange ki jaanch ke aadesh bhi kara diye jayenge. अनुराग द्वारी